On this video, we want to show you how to get your Digifly ARBT to send information to an external device. Now, this is what we call the Digifly box. That means that your Digifly has the capability of sending the information from its sensors by Bluetooth to an Android phone or a smartphone or in this case an e-reader. This is a really nice feature because it saves you a lot of work and it's done very easily and quickly like we will see. Before we do this you need to have paired your Digifly Air to the external device. Now remember once you pair your Digifly Air to an external device it'll remember it so you don't have to pair it every time. Once you have done this on your Digifly Air, you go to Menu and you will have to set in the Advanced Setup the parameter for the telemetry. Again, I'm going to scroll upwards because telemetry is on the very bottom of this menu. You will notice that we have FL2. Now this parameter has several options and the FL2 is telling the Digifly Air which format to use to send the information to the external device so XCSOAR can decode it and process it. So we have the Bluetooth on, the telemetry set to FL2, and we exit back to the main menu. And I like to leave the telemetry BT already selected but not yet on as I turn the XCSOAR on. Now this is the main screen of the XCSOAR and I go to fly and now I'm going to tell the XCSOAR where it's going to get the information from. I go to menu, I go to configuration, then I select devices and you can see there's different options of devices you can add. I'm just going to take A and I select edit. By default, the port is disabled, so I open it and I look down until I find my Digifly Air. Remember, the name of your device will be Digifly Air and the last three digits of your serial number. I select Digifly Air and then I confirm the selection. It has automatically selected the driver, but if by chance you see that the driver is on generic or a different option you click on that and you will get the options of all the drivers in alphabetical order and you just look for Digifly Leonardo you highlight it and you select it. Now it is ready to get information from your Digifly Air. Now I go back to the Digifly Air and I tell it to send telemetry by hitting OK while telemetry BT is highlighted. I am going to check select reconnect here. Right now it says it is not connected. It's working on it. And now you see the Digifly Air changed the screen and it went back to the info GPS page and you have the Bluetooth symbol on. When it does that it means it's already sending the information. On the other hand on the XCSOAR you can see up here it says it has a GPS fix, it's receiving barographic information, airspeed, vario, etc. This is how you know that your instrument is connected. And now you can see we've set XCSOAR to show a little glider. And for instance, if I move the Digifly, you can see how the values change. Now, for more information on how to use XCSOAR, you will have to go to their website. And if you have questions for us, you know you can reach us at flydigifly at gmail.com or visit our website digifluyusa.com